Get over here! Next up, uh, Dorcas and uh, Farina. Yep, uh, unexpected. Shall I take Farina for this one? Uh, if you want. Yeah, might as well. Hey, you there! What is it? I am Farina. I am the Pegasus Knight Hector hired. I'm Dorcas. Elwood hired me too. For how much? 2,000 in advance. Oh, I see. Is that right? Well, 2,000 gold. That's quite a sum. By the way, my retainer is 20,000 gold pieces. What? 20,000 gold? Ha! I win. Well, see you later. My, my, my. That sure felt nice. Oh. Jerk. Oh, okay. That's a little... Okay, Farina, that was low. He has a sick wife to support, you jerk. Dude, Farina, that was low, even for you. Yeah, I didn't know Pegasus Knights flew that low. <laughs> that was funny. Thanks. Matthew and Oswin. Um, uh, do you want to take Matthew or Oswin? Um, I can take Oswin. Okay. You know, Oswin, I just don't get it. How long do we need to be on this quest? What do you mean, Matthew? We are men of Ostia, aren't we? Our young master is risking his life for the sake of his friends, but if you think about what is best for Ostia... Huh. I agree. But Hector is not one to change his mind once it's made. So, I am here just to keep him out of trouble. I've sworn to serve him truly, and so I shall. It is a most trying situation. Ha! <laughs> what is it, Matthew? Oh, nothing. So why did you come on this journey? Didn't you say that spies do not join the fray? Yes, that's true. But if we leave him alone, who knows what might happen. He is faithful and brave at his best, and a spoiled child at his worst. We must keep an eye on him. And if we must watch him, we might as well fight along, along his side. You seem pleased by that, Matthew. Well, I have long been accustomed to his presence, his behavior. But I rather... But I rather thought your appraisal of him to be a bit generous of late. That is most certainly not true. No, certainly not. Aw, that's <laughs> cute. Now, if, if you think about it, Oswin works for Uther, not for, uh... Yeah. Now, we have a support conversation between Florina and Fiori here. We're not going to do we it, We can't though. do it, yeah. Well, it's not that we can't do it. We're just not going to. Yeah. Because we've got someone else in mind for Fiora. Yep. Now then, last support conversation... I, I gotta have you do Merlinus, because you do a good Merlinus. Oh, thank you. The only other action that Merlinus will ever be able to do. <laughs> yep. <laughs> he waits and he supports. Oh, oh, another peaceful day in the life of the transporter. Are you Merlinus? Uh, yeah. ah! Why are you screaming, little man? I'm your ally, not your foe. Do you understand that? You understand that, don't you? Uh, uh, of course, Dame Vida. And what business do you have with me? I am your god today. I am your god today. And I may see you more often in the future as well. What? Well, don't look so excited. I'm glad to see it. I'm glad of it myself. You make good bait to draw the enemy near. I don't know how well it would work, but it seems like a good ploy to try. <laughs> this is... Terrifying! These burned soldiers love fighting more than eating! With friends like those, who needs enemies? Oh! You know what's funny? That's exactly what they were doing! Yeah. Just now. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like with the, like, Matthew Oswin <clears throat> one, that was more like something they talk about back when this was about, like, helping Ellawood. Now that the fate of the world is on yeah. the line... I, I tend to think that conversation happened earlier. By the way, Vita's cruel. I yeah. like her, though. She's I like cool. her, too. All right, then. Wait, I think we had... Didn't we have a uh, Lucius Sarah? Uh, yeah. Can we do that, though, without compromising anything? Um, I don't know. Check Sarah. Raven is good, and... We can do it! We can do it. It's actually... Okay, this is hilarious. Um... I can take Sarah. I yeah. know your, <clears throat> your voice will probably burn if you try to do Sarah's voice. So, you're Lucius, right? Yes, I am indeed, Sister Sarah. Huh? This is the first time we've spoken. 
Do you know why? Why? No, I do not know. I just make it a policy not to make friends with girls. Girls who are as adorable as I am. I don't need anyone else drawing attention away from me. So, stay away from me. Got it? Is that all sinking in? It, yes. Oh, and I forgot one thing. You can't come near me, but I expect you to fully back me up as your senior cleric, alright? We serve St. Elim. No, we serve St. Elimine, right? I mean, we're the same. Well, you're much older, but you still need to follow the code. Well, yes, of course. But... What? Do you have a complaint? N no complaints. It's just, I'm... Why do you have to be so horribly annoying? Just tell me already. I am not a cleric. I'm a monk, so... So... A... Uh, a... Uh... Monk? Yes. But, to be a monk, don't you have to be... be, uh... well, a guy? Yes. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he does have silky smooth hair. I mean, even we've made the mistake. Yeah. Have you seen his, like, character art? Yeah. It's very feminine. Yeah. He's a beautiful man. Yeah, yeah, you rock it, Lucius. I would kill for hair like that. Um, like Libra. Yeah. Yeah, Libra has the same problem. Mm-hmm. All right, now that that's over... A new kind of torture can begin. Let's get to business. Gotta move out of our perfect grail-shaped uniform. All right. He is not going to move. So... This is madness. <laughs> we'll be fine. See, we're still symmetrical. <laughs> oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Alright, I'm actually going to move uh, Ella with closer. I'm actually just going to move everyone right now. Okay. Just to be prime for what is to come. Okay, so you're going to try and take him out all in one go? Pretty much. And if we can play this correctly, we will be prime for a good boss takedown. Okay. This is gonna be, um... Wow, this is surgical. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for a rather heart-wrenching conversation. Lloyd! N Nino. Listen to me, please. This is all a mistake. Do not speak. You're enemies now. I can show you no mercy. Lord Ellawood is not a bad man. You'll fight knowing that? They were Linus's enemies. That is why I fight. Lloyd, please. Don't cry, Nino. You must live for the future. I am bound to this course. Kill me and don't look back. No! I don't want to! Lloyd! There you go. I mean, he's basically her brother. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna get Nino out of there. <sighs> yeah. Cover her eyes. <clears throat> Let us begin. Uh... <laughs> Might as well get some damage in there. I love this music, by the way. I never mentioned that. I actually really like this music. Oh, she, he hit! Yeah. But he can't hit back. <laughs> he can't beat Lucius <clears throat> with light. The thing is, he will move if we don't take him out now. Cause, yeah. Yeah, that's the, that's the caveat, like, that I mentioned earlier. Wow, air can't damage him at all! Uh, Sarah? Nope. They have the resistance for it, but that's it. Oscar, <clears throat> what have you done? Oh, jeez. Um. Oh, jeez, I didn't mean what? to do that! Okay, alright, okay. As long as he doesn't crit. Yeah. Okay. Um. I got trigger happy. Okay. Whoops. 
Alright, so it looks like our strategy has been decided for us. I guess. I am going to wait on this one. Do it, Florina! Triangle attack! Oh, ho, 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 ho! I feel so many emotions right now! <sighs> okay, I scared myself for a minute there. <sighs> Good work, Florina! <sighs> I can't breathe. Sorry, Nino. Yeah. That sucks. At least he died in the way reserved for the most badass of enemies. The thing is, like, I have contemplated to have Jafar attack him. Yeah, I feel like that would have been the next step. I was going to do it, but I didn't realize I was going to kill. Pegasi don't mess around. And here we have Athos again. <laughs> Why didn't you just magic us here in the first place? You know, I was mad at that at first, <clears throat> but it makes a lot of sense to me. For actually. Hector, anyway. Oh, yeah, for Hector, I understand, but... Oh, like, the fact that he didn't yeah, teleport? Yeah, yeah, why Athos I thought, I, thought you were, I thought you were talking about that syntax. Oh, no. No, Hector's fine. Yeah. You cannot hope to succeed if you cannot trust your own strength. Yeah. And no. also, considering what they have to do next, he had to have them get here on their own accord. Oh, absolutely, because let's face it, if we just warped here, we would have missed out on a lot of experience. And, um, we had to talk to Bramimond, and he wouldn't have trusted us if Athos just teleported us here. Mm -hmm. We had to prove ourselves to him. One of the eight legends. Man, why isn't there... Like, considering that this game is a prequel, mm -hmm. like... <clears throat> There's still a lot of cool stuff coming before it. Like, I'm surprised there isn't something more with the eight heroes. Yeah, no kidding. I mean, it does make sense a little bit, though, but yeah. Yeah. I mean, their weapons are in the sequel, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, isn't isn't uh, Roy's Blade one of them? Yeah. I thought so. <clears throat> now then, now that we're here at the Shrine of Seals... Because it's the Sword of Seals. Here we are. I always thought this was a really cool concept for a character. Oh, Bramimond? Yeah. And then Hector talks to him. Yeah. And then he Oof. suddenly gets really abrasive. Oh yeah, that's right. I always thought this was really cool. He, she, it. So you know how, like, we talked about the dark arts and how in, in this, <clears throat> when you study darkness, you kind of set yourself on a doomed path to lose yourself to that power. Um, like with Nurgle. Nurgle forgets why he wanted power in the first place, and now he's crazy and evil. Right. Um, or Canis and all of his brothers. Mm -hmm. um, Bramimond is basically, to the extent of that, as... But instead of going evil and mad with power, he just completely gave up his sense of self. So he has no self. The only personality he has is whatever... Whatever, whoever he's addressing. Yeah, he is a blank slate. That is cool. I never thought of it that way. I think he's a really cool character. That is awesome. And that's why he's in this... He, he's in this tomb all the time, because if nobody's here, he has no will to do anything else. Wow. So this is... This is the absolute extreme of losing yourself to the darkness. Like, he even refers to them, to them as humans. Even though he himself 
well, technically was once a yeah, human. Yeah, yeah, but now he's just kind of a shell. And I mean, he understands stuff about magic that, like, these guys couldn't even mm -hmm. hope to possess. He has the greatest secrets of the arcane arts ever, but he doesn't have anything he cares enough about to use it for anymore. And I like how Elwood kind of explains, like, the uh, idea that, uh, like, Bramamond is afraid that when he, when he, like, removes the seals, like, whoever gains that power is going to go mad with it. Yeah. And Elwood is like, there's no guarantee that we will. We just ask that you believe in us. And I like that idea. I love that. Yeah. I, don't, I love answers like that where it's like, no, we, we will not lose ourselves. Get, like, you don't have to worry about us. We will prove to you that we can. But Elwood's like... I don't have an answer for you. Yeah. All I ask is that you trust us. It's very Because that's all I can do. Yeah. I love answers like that. I love it when characters have answers like that. Elwood's a humble guy. Absolutely. And also, Bramamon couldn't have had this trust in us if Aethos just teleported exactly. here. We, we proved our conviction. Is this... No. Some, something happens here, right? No, not yet. Uh, <clears throat> okay. One more chapter. Oh, boy. Because this is, this is where we split up. Um, in Elwood's story, we go with Elwood to get his weapon. Right, and we're in this go story, with we, to go to we go with Hector. Right, that's yeah. right. Blazing Blade. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, but this happens. Uh, yep, I thought so. Okay, I thought you were talking about... I thought you were talking about one cutscene later. <laughs> yeah, Nurgle's back up to full health, he's done regenerating, and he knows how to teleport spam. Uh-oh. Ninian knows all too well how powerful Nurgle is. They have no chance of beating him right now. Man. <sighs> but that's cool because she can put all of her uh, contestants into, him. into Nils. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was... I know it doesn't seem like it because he's just one guy. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> this is cool. Oh no, it doesn't happen here. Right, they got knocked out. Yeah, Nurgle just kind of exploded Okay, there's us. something else that happens, I think, in the next chapter that is really cool. I think you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. <clears throat> no, a lot of stuff is going to go down in the next chapter, oh, actually. Man. This next chapter is going to be torture. You kind of say that every chapter, though. What? Uh, that's kind of how every chapter has been lately. Every yeah, time we seriously. get to a new chapter, we're like, oh, no. It's just like the problems, like, the issues just keep piling up. I mean, yeah, even though Nurgle was just one guy there, we literally have no weapons that can hurt him. Exactly. We, we, uh, yeah, we need these sacred weapons that we've been looking for. Otherwise, he'll, he'll just turn back into quintessence. And here we go. Ooh, this happens. The final finally, heaven seal. Finally. It's kind of a cruel joke that in Hector's story, Hector is the last one that can promote. But man, is it going to be worth it. Oh. Finally. Ladies and gentlemen. The Great Lord. Those stat ups. <laughs> and some much needed resistance. And he can now use swords. And he now looks even beefier. Yeah. Hector goes kind of mad with power here.
so right now, Hector is kind of like going mad with power. He I just mean, needs to get used to it. Yeah, not like in an evil way, because he's still got his friends by his side, but like... I feel like I can overcome anything, nothing can stop me. And tear Nurgle to pieces. <laughs> oh my gosh, he, his wording. He's very driven right now. Yeah, uh, news from Lord e Uther. Huh. Keep in mind that Hector's still, like, like, duped up <clears throat> with, uh, magic uh -oh. power right now. Oh, jeez. Hector can tell. Yeah, we're gonna have to just settle for getting two of them. Yes. I think actually Lin can wield that uh, weapon. Oh, really? I think through certain means. Like, I know there's a weapon that huh. Lin can wield that gives her a different, uh, a different like attack animation. I don't oh, remember yeah, what you're it right. is. And here we go. Hector is getting uh, Armad's Durban's Thunder Axe. Yeah, we have to go get it. This is gonna be awesome! A negotiation of strength. Or oh, something. <laughs> well, Hector's all over that one. <laughs> I can't think of somebody I- I can't think of anybody I'd rather have wield that. The thing is, like, you can't really, because no other lord in the Fire Emblem series, I believe, can wield an axe. Yeah. Or at least it's not their primary weapon. Yeah, I mean, Ike can. Uh-oh. Hector knows. He totally knows. Yeah, Hector's, um, Hector's really changed a lot. Absolutely. Because he really didn't want anything to do with the kingdom at the beginning. He just wanted to go help Ellawood. Oh, boy. Oh, man. So, on that note of ambiguity... Yeah. Which is kind of obvious what just happened. Um, you know what's not ambiguous? Is that Ninian is in the hands of Nurgle, and we have to do something because he's going to open the Dragon's Gate? We gotta hurry. Yeah. Well, what an eventful chapter. What a long chapter. No kidding, dude. Two hours. Ugh. My butt hurts. No kidding. Thank you guys for joining us for Chapter 29, Cog of Destiny on Let's Play Fire Emblem Blazing Sword. I am the Green Scorpion. I'm the Comic Foil. And I need some ice for my hindquarters, man. Gross. Vaida, Vaida, all we ask of you is a lifetime of service, wisdom, courage. To ask more would be selfish, but nothing less will do. Vaida, Vaida. Do you think that's what they sang at Burn when they were like knighting her? I wouldn't be surprised. Bur Burn's pretty pretty crazy about that. Although I don't, I I, I kind of find it hard to believe a bunch of like soldiering knights would sing something like that. They're, they're very um, uh, sanctimonious there. I mean, you can't pick a king without a fire emblem, so 
you need a big musical number to knight somebody. 